a coming together that invariably concentrates minds. This meeting is one you always have to take seriously. Chelsea against Manchester United and live coverage is coming up on EA TV from Stamford Bridge. Well, the players might not mind it, but certainly some of the fans will. It's been raining cats and dogs. The heavens have opened here at Stamford Bridge. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Chelsea taking on Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Number 19, Mason Mount. Number 22, Hakim Ziyech. Number 9, Romelu Lukaku. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Andreas Christensen plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Mason Mount starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park and handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you for attending Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. to be a really interesting battle Chelsea kick off excellent vision but mistimed his run well he's got the timing all wrong there he just needs to bide his time Pogba playing with purpose and control Bruno Fernandes and there it is the opening goal the ideal way to start well here it is again and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away that's a very good goal you have to say So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? So let's have a look at the table and the chances there for the visitors to go top if they can win. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast at the moment, but I have to say they've looked a top-class team so far. They're certainly playing some very good football. Chance to attack using width. Conte and here's Gaia well he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw in plenty of players waiting in the middle well he missed the targets and then some wide it went Bruno Fernandes. Greenwood. Declan Rice. 
And Goro Conte, that's what he does. Now Chelsea showing good width. Ziyech. was very much on Conte flinging himself at it the keeper delivering it great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save and now the delivery well, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. United could get in behind the defence. Well, possibilities in the centre. There's an effective clearance. Rice. Cross didn't beat the first man. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And it's played into the centre. Not in fact a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Marcus Rashford. Pogba has it. Declan Rice Pogba with the forward surge real chance oh magnificent from the keeper fantastic stop and using his strength to shield the ball well, that's oh a... they could be in here Stuart there it is and no wonder he's celebrating now we can call him a record breaker well, what a player and what a season. He's been absolutely brilliant and he's not finished yet. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. Second goal for them here. Ziyech Reese James he's in control of the situation and a tidy challenge well as you can see United just haven't been able to dictate the pace of the game but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking it's been a really good performance from them so far and the decision offside here Couldn't keep it. Promising piece of play by Pogba. But will they be able to finish it off from here? A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. the game again United in charge the scoreline threatening to get ugly Christensen and a tiny ball
Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. And a short corner here. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Trying to deliver it accurately. And a time for composure on the ball. And Chelsea regaining possession. Well, he likes to run at them. Can he play it in? Preferring to go infield. Lukaku. And it all counts for naught. Can they hit on the break? Could be threatening. Marcus Rashford in position. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Well, his skill level to go past defenders and get shots away has been excellent today. The it ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea. So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. Paul Pogba Shaw Rashford deflected behind corner forthcoming well sadly too straight to worry the goalkeeper that time and the keeper not thinking it through that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack now can they counter clinically Well, they've given him too much space. And the cross goes in. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? De Ligt. This is Varane. Pogba. And that's vision for you from Paul Pogba. Well, the danger is still there. Danger averted for now. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Well, they've got a real bargain here. He's such a good player and he brings so much to this team. This is a really great deal for the club. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. De Ligt. No possibilities in the centre. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Let's see about the delivery. 
Not messing around with that clearance. Shaw. De Ligt. He continues his run. A deep delivery. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Played over. And cleared away. Shaw. Now Pogba. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space and then of course the finish that's a great bit of play in the box Manchester and this is turning into something of a rout 4-0 Fernandes Paul Pogba something to worry about here and the challenge crisp and clean could be a chance to break here and we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV it's Chelsea facing Burnley Chelsea couldn't keep it A terrific pass and denied by the keeper impressive so the corner played into the box a decisive clearance it was Bruno Fernandes played into the centre. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well cleared away. Hold on. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And yellow it is. A booking. Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Excellent technique. We can take another look at how close this was. It was marginally over the line, yes, but no doubt it was a goal. Passing high to win the ball. And a chance to rip it in here. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. It might be on for them. An incisive pass. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Shaw. 
Marcus Rashford. Crossed into the penalty area. Well clattered away. And keeping it out. Here's a change for Manchester United. Number 41, Defton Rice, to be replaced by 21, Jude Bellingham. And over it comes. Smuggled away. And the verdict of the officials is offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching here. Needs to be more alive. Work harder to keep on side and be ready for the chance. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Manchester United taking on Chelsea. A chance to whip it in. Conte. And danger still. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Bruno Fernandes. Mason Greenwood. Targets available. Cross comes in. And a good take under duress there. James. And now it's Ridley Baku. Reese James. Conte has it. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. And can they create something? He just needs to keep a cool head. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing! Just can't stop him today! Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Promising looking attack, and that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. The fans are going to be happy with this. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all round performance. Well, that save could be the turning point here. The big story, Jadon Sancho. The big news, he's been given the green light, he's fit to start, and we're ready to go on EA TV. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Manchester United, and they take on Norwich City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Number 18, 
Well, he's featured on the back pages of quite a few newspapers in recent days. When a player comes back from injury, it's a matter of how well he does in training, and then it's up to the manager, Stuart. Well, I thought he might be out for longer, but it's good to see him back in the starting 11 today. Let's hope he plays well and puts in a performance. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Pierre Les Melous starts with André Gomes in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And now they get the ball rolling. Les Malou. And a chance to whip it in here. Norman. Andre Gomes. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. And a poor pass it was. No getting away from it. Throw in here. Difficult to stop him. Les Melou. And Gomes. Precise ball movement. Oh, magnificent reaction. Right, let's send it over to Alex because I'm hearing there's been a goal at Turf Moor. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1-0 with seven minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Jafet Tanganga. Space on the flank. But they dealt with the threat first. Manchester United were the victors against Chelsea. What do you expect on this occasion, Stuart? Well, they were a joy to watch. They were so fluid in their attacking play. Today, I'm expecting them to repeat that performance. Could be. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Short corner it is. Timo Puki. Possession changes hands. The interception there. So it's going to be a goal kick here. OK, Alex Scott can tell us all about a goal that's been scored at the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for Leicester City. It's now 1-0 with 13 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Now with Sancho, Bruno Fernandes, and a goal! Now they've broken through, 1-0 here. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. of a goal at Goodison Park. Alex Scott has the details for us. It's a goal for Manchester City. 
City. They've scored the opener with 19 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Norman. A fine use of the ball. Chance to cross. No frustration for those waiting in the middle. And Gomes. from the keeper and the danger of Ozzy. And now the delivery. Oh, what's he gone and done? And running through to the keeper. Oh, really closing him down. Declan Rice. Pogba has it. Rashford. And there's the feed into the box. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. So the corner played into the box. Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. An own goal it is. And no wonder his head is slumped. Well, we can take another look at how close this was. It was marginally over the line, yes, but no doubt it was a goal. So, an own goal, and now they are chasing this game. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Burnley. It struck the ball and it went in. It's now one all with 29 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Andre Gomes. And he read it well defensively. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Getting in there to intercept. Andre Gomes. Oh, good vision. And it's gone behind for the corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. Still not clear. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Chances on. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Gomes, Les Melou, beautiful pass, and Foxing the defender, no possibilities inside the box, can he find the net, body in the way, can he deliver it with accuracy, well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that, Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Holland. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant.
Rashford. Not all that convincing defensively. Bruno Fernandes. Hold on. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Andre Gomes. Great effort to keep that one in play. Gomes. Norman. Puki. Takes it on. So with that, the first half comes to an end and Manchester United hold the advantage. Well, as we highlighted, they look like a side who will score goals every time they go forward. Their front players have been so clever with their movement. This could turn into a rout in the second half. Second half here at Old Trafford has commenced. Buki. And room now out on the flank. Well, the danger is still there. Right, let's send it over to Alex because I'm hearing there's been a goal at Turf Moor. Yep. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. It's now 2-1 with 47 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. He's in with a chance. Touched onto the woodwork. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle it. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right, hitting it across the goalkeeper, making it difficult for him, and then a player coming in for the rebound. What a good goal it is. Everything right from the striker's point of view. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Buki read it superbly to take back possession. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Can he take advantage? Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. And the substitution will occur now. Let's see about the delivery. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Cuts it back. Les Malou. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Good bit of pressing. Beautifully disguised ball. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. And someone has found the net at Goodison Park. Let's find out who. Here's Alex with the details. And it's the second goal for Manchester City. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes. And the keeper getting across to stop it. So the corner played into the box. Not messing around with that clearance. And crossed in there. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Far from a good pass. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere, and he's taken his goals really well. 
But I believe changing circumstances in the Burnley game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a second goal for Chelsea. The game's all level again at 2-2 with 66 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Janulis. It is to be a throw-in. Rafael Varane. Pogba has it. And don't forget, we have more Premier League Derek, action. This could be a goal here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Oh, he's given the ball away. Rashford. On to Sancho. Norman Matthias Norman Rashica Janulis and space for the cross foul there free kick awarded Here's a change for Manchester United. And he puts it away confidently. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Opportunity in the wide area. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, as you'll see, it's not a good pass out from the back. It's on the wrong side of the player he's trying to pass it to. It's intercepted, and it's a good finish. Yes, of course it is, but it's not good defending all round. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Delivering it into the box. Well cleared away. Janulis. It is a decent looking attack here. I think Baran was one step ahead of everybody following the cross. Pogba. Well, Manchester United, all powerful. They've accelerated away in this one, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Well, something has happened in the Everton game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a goal for Everton. They are now behind 2-1 with 87 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Holland. Disappointing pass. Les Melou. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Bruno Fernandes. A very good tackle. Rashica. Nicely cut out. And threading it forward. Now he's got to stay calm. And he read it really well, 
Fine save. Trying to pick out a teammate. It didn't happen for them. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance all told? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Bruno Fernandes. Some questions regarding the match? Thanks, that's all. Thanks, thanks. If we could quiet down, then we can start with the questions now. Uh, 
Okay, guys, I'm sorry. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. Hello to you on a cracking night here at the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is the first leg of this UEFA Champions League round of 16 tie. It's Manchester United against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, what a first leg we have in store for us here. Yes, it might be cagey, but these are two excellent teams with great individuals. This will be a high-quality game, Derek. is the team Manchester United will go with Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack and here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain Keylor Navas begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And hand of the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. say that was a very promising attack the alarm bells were sounding decent position this for United to find themselves in and credit is due for that good piece of defending that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack lost possession really vital interception here is a wonderful challenge and they've kept the ball to boot well possibilities in the center good tackle it'll be a throw Juan Bisaka and it's gone out of play under real duress Mbappe can he put them ahead? And turned onto the woodwork. 
Well, plenty have had their say on Gianluigi Donnarumma in the build-up to this game. Up against his own club. Oh, Derek, great opportunity here. send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. will that goal have on PSG we're going to find out here Henderson Neymar United regaining possession can he finish nicely blocked And PSG pushing forward with options available. And space for the cross. Mbappe. Real chance. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And the short option preferred. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Neymar. Tielemans. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Messi. Nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Messi. And the advantage is with PSG. And Neymar. Well read to ease the pressure. Pulls it back. Superb block. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. And offside, just as he was ready to pounce. Wijnaldum. Tierney. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. We've had a pair of car keys handed in at Possession changes hands, the interception there. tackle completely missed time and you would expect a booking under the circumstances and the yellow card for that Stuart and he's going to have to be careful now that was a silly challenge well straight into the meat of the penalty area and it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Hakimi. Just cutting off the supply. 
Mbappe. Tielemans. And he takes on the shot. Oh, a superb save. Elects to go short. Sergio Ramos. Wijnaldum. Tielemans. Now the attack fizzled out. Sancho. Bruno Fernandes has it. Pogba. Encouraging stuff from United. And clears his lines. Neymar. Mbappe. United have it once again. Could be a chance to break here. How about the cross? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Messi. Hakimi. And PSG showing good width here. overcome all the difficulties oh what's he gone and done well diving magnificently to make sure he got there now how about the short corner Henderson now Messi And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. The one man who really dazzled in the first half, Jorginho. And they begin the second half in the first leg of this Champions League round of 16 tie. That's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene giving them a different option by moving in field and the cross comes to nothing in the end goalkeeper's ball every day of the week given away by Manchester United Mbappe not what he was intending, bad pass Sancho. Intelligent threaded pass here. And cleared away. Holland. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here it is again. And if you are going to clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. And they don't do that to poor clearance. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish. 2-1 currently. Successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, here's one to look forward to with us here on EA TV in the Champions League. The round of 16 first leg live. Oh, he can score here, Derek. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Substitution for the visitors. Messi with the corner, not the best clearance, and they can't quite take advantage in the end.
Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, they profit from this situation. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Gorgeous pass from Rashford. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Thirty minutes left for play. Tierney. Neymar. Here's Tielemans. Messi. And the keeper showing tremendous command. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. A corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. And the problem not completely solved. Well, he likes to run at them. Danilo Pereira. Tielemans. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Short corner taken. Gay. Here's Mbappe. Tremendous block. And great use of the ball to keep possession. Now doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. He goes short. Gay. Determined block. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Delivered into the area here. And a goal to seal the hat-trick! A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the finish is really well taken, because he judges the flight of the ball, uses the right technique, and then makes such good contact. That's a clever goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Tielemans. And the man he's hoping to find is Messi. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Danilo Pereira. And in with a real chance. And still an opportunity. Couldn't put it away. Offside, however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Rafael Varan. Really closing him down. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Advantage, Manchester United. Really getting stuck in. An awful lot of green space to run into. Reguilon. Good physical play. Tielemans. 
Mbappe just cutting off the supply well can they be creative from here crossing possibilities and routine for the keeper in the end the cross far too close to him Marquinhos dangerous looking through ball Oh, great vision. Mbappe. And the pass over hit. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. And so into the final five minutes. Pogba unable to keep the ball. Danilo Pereira. Reguilon. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Here's a change for Manchester United. Mbappe. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. De Ligt. An example of how to press. Juan Bisaka. And back with Neymar. Mbappe in the centre. Well, the clearance half hearted. And so it is, full-time, the referee's whistle. An advantageous situation for Manchester United going into the return leg. Yeah, they've been really bright today. The passing's been sharp, the movement's been even better, and they've worked so hard all over the pitch. It's not over yet, but they're certainly in control of this tie. All right, just a couple of questions for you. Thanks so much for your time.
Thank you all for waiting. We'll be taking questions now. Right, we'll be wrapping up now, guys. Thank The stage is set here at Wembley, a sea of fans beginning to descend upon the stadium for what ought to be a riveting Carabao Cup final. It's Manchester United, they take on Everton live. This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It's Manchester United versus Everton. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Rafael Varane plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Luca Digne plays with Leo Dubois in the fullback positions. And playing up front today is Angel Correa. The match is underway. And they need to get tighter. Maybe in Delf. Lovely passing from James Rodriguez. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. And slipped through beautifully away completely well no damage done that's very effective good high pressing Correa this looks promising from Everton well there's a keeper on 
Song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Trying to deliver it accurately. Struggling to get it away. Dinia. Absolutely true to say social media has been full of talk this week about Cristiano Ronaldo. If you believe the stories coming out of the camp, this could be his final season. Could he be thinking about hanging up his boots? Yeah, if the rumours are correct, it's going to be a big loss for the club. They've come to rely on his performances. We all get to that age where it all becomes a little bit harder on the body. He's starting to get to that age, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Lucatinha thrusting forward with the ball. James Rodriguez. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. And that's vision for you from Paul Pogba. Magnificent defending. That's a routine take. Holland and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And there's the delivery. Oh, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Sancho. Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's a player full of confidence at the moment. What a hat-trick it was in the last match. Every time the ball came to me, he looked really threatening. His finishing was excellent. He's certainly going to be a marked man today. Sancho. Cleared away comprehensively. Can they nudge in front? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. And space to exploit, maybe. So a throw in here. This looks promising. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Over it comes. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Ikone. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Still not clear. De Ligt. Here's Luke Shaw. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. important will that opening goal prove to be and plenty of room in the wide area chance to play it in and it's Tom Davis oh a goal it is the equaliser in this final what next in the drama
Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So the ball is rolling again at one all. Paul Pogba. Hold on! Oh, it's an own goal! A moment he would love to be able to forget. Well, as the replay shows us, that will be classed as an own goal. He's a bit unlucky there. Well, that own goal has put them behind. Correa. The ball with James Rodriguez. A sloppy pass. Sancho. A delivery towards the back post. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. No shortage of goals on this match, 3-1. Strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. And he stopped them in their tracks. Bruno Fernandes. Well, as you can see, Everton have had most of the ball, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Oh, the flag's gone up, and there wasn't much in that. Rodriguez Dinia now Hammers Rodriguez that's great goalkeeping well what a save that is he was so alert there who's going to get on the end of it a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. So underway again here, the pendulum having already swung United's way. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. 
Holland went in strongly, decisively. Correa couldn't keep it. Holland! And there the attack ends for now. Now doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And a timely penalty save. Let's see about the delivery. Well, no end product. Sancho. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Can they take advantage? James Rodriguez. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. De Ligt. Here's Luke Shaw. Well, just a quick reminder that we'll have all the live action for you from Wembley. The Carabao Cup final right here on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Everton. Well, I've seen some great League Cup finals over the years, and I don't think this one will disappoint. It should be a great game. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Delf. Delightful pass. Ikone. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. So half an hour remaining. And now passing it through. Well, that is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Bruno Fernandes. And unable to keep possession. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Opportunity! Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. In position. Can they cover up? Gets his glove on it. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. United will switch things around personnel-wise. Well, the free kick was on target, but the goalkeeper acquitted himself magnificently to hang on to that. Encouraging stuff from United. And the danger cleared. Superb block. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Extremely sloppy in possession.
Ikone. In possession, Dubois. And teammates to play it to. Eddie and Delf. Dubois. Well, no problems defensively. Well, every second must seem rather like a minute if you're a United fan. They're almost there, almost over the line. Stuart, what have you made of their performance today? Well, it's been great entertainment, and we've seen some excellent attacking football. But overall, I think they've been the better team. They've certainly had the greater cutting edge. Now they just need to see this out in the final few moments. And offside. Well, close one. And a substitution in the offing. Shaw. Rashford. How can he find someone at the far post? Oh, good save. Excellent header. And far from a smooth challenge. And will the referee produce a card? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Ten minutes left for play. Paul Pogba. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. <laughs> Delivering it. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Here's a change for Manchester United. Tom Davis. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. How about the cross? Happy to take on the shot. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Well, this might be the final opportunity to draw level. And over comes the corner. Cuts it back. Oh, terrific save. Well, that's surely it. That was possibly their last chance. What a great save that was. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. A good and fair challenge. Bruno Fernandes, really good interception. This might be ideal for the counter. Defenders need to cover. There are so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Marcus Rashford. Oh, lovely, incisive pass. Oh, that's a penalty. Another crucial phase in the game. To finish it as a contest and slot it home well his heart might have been fluttering but he didn't show it a goal from the spot well here we can see it again and it's a good penalty you have to say straight down the middle keepers committed and all he can do is watch it sailing cool as you like
scoreline 4-2. Playing with purpose and control. Look at Dina. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead.